butterflies in transformation just like me you are with Tunisia Ali the head butterfly and we are going to do a quick daily healing inspiration we are going to use the quantum oracle for all of you beautiful butterflies out here looking for messages as you travel the frequency and we're also going to look at path to the soul Let's take a moment to clear our energy. Victory pose, everyone, victory pose. I hope that you are feeling peaceful, productive, prosperous. I hope that you are living passionately on your purpose and that your point of attraction is positive. I wanna give a shout out to all of my new beautiful butterflies that have been showing up and traveling the frequency. I want to give a shout out to the lovely Tamika Bell, Keontae Grant, Erica Forever, the lovely DJ Het Haru, and so many of you who are showing up with your purple hearts in the comment section. You are loved. I am appreciating you, and thank you for the equal exchange of energy. Let's go ahead and get into today's guidance. Tonight, this afternoon, whenever this message reaches you, it is timeless. It is timeless. All right, beautiful butterflies and transformation. Let's see what the guidance is for today. I hope that you are feeling beautiful and blessed. Ooh, we have a fear energy showing up here. At the bottom, we have the vast universe. I feel like I want to pull an additional card to see what else is going on here. That fear is a pretty interesting energy. Fear is something that cannot exist alongside of faith. Fear is one of the lower vibrational emotions that blocks us from our blessings. It blocks us from our insight. It keeps us from moving forward. It keeps us stuck. Take a look at this energy at the bottom of the deck. We have fragmented energy. All right, so in between there, we have creative endeavors and family and friends. We're gonna clarify this message to see what else comes up. But fragment energy is energy that is not aligned. It is energy that keeps us from being able to move forward along our desired path because perhaps our body, mind, and spirit, our heart and mind are not on the same page. Fragment energy also shows up when we are expending energy in a million different directions or we have a lot of different targets and we're sending out energy and we're not hitting any of our targets. So whenever fragment energy shows up, there's a lack of laser focus. Remember, whenever we are manifesting anything, one of the most important things once we identify whatever it is we want to manifest is that we have a single-minded laser focus on whatever it is that we're trying to bring into our reality. So with this fragmented energy, some of you may be doing too much, but the majority of you, what I'm getting for this message here is that you are afraid. And because you are afraid, Whatever that fear, whatever the, the, the uh, energy is behind the fear is keeping you from being able to move forward. You're not able to get on one accord with something in your life that's feeling very important. Okay, so I want to clarify. Y'all, we used this um, energy archaeology deck uh, a few weeks ago. We got some beautiful messages. Actually, at that time, we got some messages about a relationship and some past hurt and that keeping you from being able to move forward. Let's take a look at this. Now, for some of you, there's a creative endeavor. There is something that you are passionate about. There's a wish that you have. It could be to start a business. It could be to ask for 
uh, let's say some sort of uh, mm, what do they call it uh, when people set up those sites crowdfunding crowdfunding some type of uh, angel investment or something or other with a creative endeavor here there's some energy that is trying to be released in your life okay and that could literally be what is underneath the surface here let's take a look at what we're getting here from this energy archaeology deck as we clarify what's going on here with this fear and this fragmented energy okay all right that's the message here What is the message here? Okay, we have power. Look at that. That's that lioness energy, y'all. This is like the strength card in the tarot. We have power. All right? And this is associated with the phalanges, your fingertips. And then we also have catalyst and sovereignty. If you all remember, this, this theme of sovereignty has been coming up in our guidance for the last maybe three months. There's a direct relationship between sovereignty and power. Sovereignty is you standing in your power. Sovereignty is you taking control of your timeline, commanding your timeline. Sovereignty is you being in your emperor energy. You making the decisions over your life that affect you. You impacting change. Sovereignty is you stepping into your highest timeline reality. And look at here. Look at, look at what else we have. We have a catalyst. What is a catalyst? A catalyst is something that is initiating change in your life. It is some type of uh, generating energy or some type of uh, situation, a person, a circumstance, a place that creates a powerful vortex causing something else to happen. I want to take a deeper look at this catalyst energy because the way I'm, I'm, I'm reading this is that there's something that is going on in your life that if you take the first step and you allow it to happen, it's going to put you in, a, in one of the most amazing places. It's going to not only establish your sovereignty within, within yourself, um, but it's going to bring you into a unique type of power, inner power is what we're talking about here. But you have fear around taking that first step. And as such, the fear is taken over to the point to where you're in a space of fragmenting energy. I want to take a look at that uh, catalyst energy here because this is this is a very powerful thing here. Catalyst will mutate change, but you must also nurture your capacity to sustain it. So when the catalyst comes down, okay, somebody comes into your life to bring you something that you've been wanting, that you've been desiring, that you've been wishing for. This person is a catalyst for massive transformation. This person is coming into your life to unstuck you, so to speak, or to free you from something that you need to be free from. But the catalyst comes into your life, you have a choice to make. You have the choice of if you want to follow the path of the higher path, the path that represents where the catalyst is trying to take you, or are you going to remain stuck? And then once the catalyst change, when the catalyst change comes into your life to transform it, it changes everything at the ground level, which means other things start to happen. These are things that happen within the context of something like a domino effect. Other things begin to happen in order to help you to manifest your highest timeline. So the catalyst comes in. The catalyst moves you towards a great transformation, a great change, a great shift that is not easy. And once you begin to move towards that, you have to sustain that energy to bring the, the full this, uh, expression of the transformation into reality. So this particular catalyst is coming in the energy of fire. It's the beginning of something, okay? When this energy is not being allowed to manifest, you have the energy of a waning, similar to when the, the, the uh, waxing moon begins to wane. And once the full moon reaches its culmination, it begins to release more and more energy as it returns back to the half moon and then the, and then the new moon. So when you are not ready 
when you are not prepared, when you refuse to move forward, the catalyst energy is out of balance. So the, this, what this card is saying is that the floating ribs are the bottom two ribs that articulate with the thoracic spine at the T11 and T12 vertebrae. These particular ribs have no attachment in the front of the body, though cartilage or otherwise. The nerve roots that exit the thoracic spine. Yep, the thoracic, thoracic, that's the thoracic spine. At these ribs receive motor and sensory input from the kidneys, the ureter, the small intestines, the colon, the uterus, the lymph. So it controls the lymph circulation or it's important in terms of the lymph circulation. Hmm. So the rhythmic contraction of this energy pattern is what initiates and propels energy. So it's a catalyst for your own movement. So unlike all of the other pairs of the ribs, the floating ribs have no connection to the front of the body. So in reality, this is what gives you the fluidity. This is what allows you to move. These are not stationary. They're not confined. They're not contracted. They're not reduced. They're able to expand. They're able to be free. They're able to move. They're not, they're not connected to the rest of the body. Hmm. These ribs compress energy at the bottom of the rib cage and catalyze its flow to the end pairs of the ribs above. When this energetic action is supported, it breaks up the stagnation, deepening the emotional and energetic intelligence of the ribs. Ah! Wow. Listen to that. When the energetic action is supported, it breaks up the stagnation, deepening the emotional and energetic intelligence of the ribs. So when this is happening, movement is taking place. You are free to transform. When you constrict this energy, you constrict this, you constrict the change. Transformation is not able to happen. When you, when you, when you dive into it, when you lean into it, the stagnant energy breaks up and it deepens the emotional and energetic intelligence of the ribs. Now that is beautiful. Okay. So some catalysts increase the speed at which something happens, but they don't initiate anything that wouldn't have otherwise occurred on its own. You meet these kinds of catalysts every day, the synchronicities that mirror and amplify energies that you were already aware of. Other catalysts precipitate something entirely new. This is what we're talking about. We're talking about the catalyst here that is going to precipitate your personal sense of power, your inner power that will manifest uh, in the visible reality as your outer power. We're talking about the kind of energy that brings you into your sovereignty, the recognition that is that you control your life, that you are the creator, that you dominate this timeline in your reality. Mm. This kind of a catalyst can feel like a break, a rupture, or a new trajectory. So if it's going to feel like a break, a rupture, or a new trajectory, it brings in the fear energy because it's something new. It's something that requires a change. It's something that requires that you become deeply connected with your emotional and energetic self. And so a rupture or a break is a demarcation or defined difference between where you are and where it is you're trying to go. So it can feel scary. And this is the sort of thing. And y'all look at what is at the bottom of this deck. You see this present power. Take a look at this. So we have the word power twice showing up. Power showing up twice in the house. And then we have sovereignty. And then we have catalyst. So you are in an extremely powerful fire energy in your life at this particular time, which means you are going to be more creative. You're going to have more of the spark of the divine. You're going to feel more inspired, which means it's very important that you take inspired action. If you move from the left, if you move from logic, if you move from rational rationality, if you move from your intellect, you will continue to be afraid. But if you rest in your heart space, if you move on inspired action, if you tap in and attune to your intuition, you're going to be able to move with this catalytic energy. You're going to be able to step into your power. You're going to feel at home in your power. You'll be able to trust the process. So for those of you who are feeling a sense of unsteadiness, for those of you who are feeling a sense of not being ready, for those of you who are in a space of fear, fear of the unknown, is usually what fear is based on. It's always based on something that you cannot bring into full clarity, some lack of knowledge, something that requires you to take a leap into the quantum field and to trust the universe, to trust the powers that be, to trust your higher self, to trust your soul that is taking the leap to its own evolution. 
Wow. So, this, this message is, is really trying to underscore that the catalyst is going to come in and break this up, y'all. You don't have a choice. This is what I'm feeling. You don't have a choice. The catalyst is here to break this up. Underneath this, we have the vast universe and we have those dark thoughts again showing up in consciousness, which is the same thing that we're talking about in this particular energy here. The catalyst is gonna come in and break this up. You don't have a choice. Your, um, your wisdom and, and your soul's evolution is to move with the current, to release whatever the blockages are, to let go of the fears to come into alignment with where you actually are already headed, to come into alignment with where you already are on another timeline. Remember, none of this is really new. Meet catalysts with kindness. They're messengers here to wake you up, to release the protection you've built around yourself and your vulnerability, to flow out of old stagnant energy. Okay, I want to pull a couple of tarot cards. I want to take a look at where it is that you're trying to go. Because whatever this is, it's big. Whatever this is, you're ready for it. And the path is being lit for you. All you have to do is move on it. And some of you may be hearing, I don't know, I have, this uh, Sovereignty card has the uh, caucus. And I don't know, that's giving me the energy of uh, maybe a dream or some type of inspiration, maybe... Uh, the kind of inspiration you hear sometimes when some of you get those uh, clairaudient messages that come through that ringing in your ear. You get that long tone and then you get some type of intuitive hit. So that's for some of you, not everybody. This is a beautiful message. There's no reason for you to be afraid. All you need to do is come into alignment. This is going to bring in the missing piece. You see that missing piece right there at the heart chakra? You see that? This you're not going to see. This you don't have to understand. This you just need to move with it. All right, I'm going to I'm going to look at three more cards that have to do with the catalyst energy y'all and then we're going to close out. Hmm. I love this because this is powerful. This is strong. This is saying that you're ready for something. Literally some of you are trying to step up in a creative endeavor. Some of you are trying to step up in that queen of wands energy. And you may be fearful, you may be afraid. This could be in any any number of places in your heart. We got that heart chakra uh, energy being highlighted there with the fragmented energy. Look at these two big cats. Look at these two big cats. You can't put a house cat in a room with these two big cats. Look at this. Aren't they beautiful? All right, show me more, show me more around this catalyst. Hmm. Show us more around this catalyst. Show me more. First card out, we have the Knight of Swords. This means you don't have all day to rest on your laws. It's time to make the decision and move fast. Whatever this is, whatever this opportunity is, you need to hop on it here with the Knight of Swords. This is an action-oriented card. This is not a card of sitting and waiting. This is not um, passive energy. This is active masculine energy. This is you going after what you want. This is you responding to the call. This is you accepting that opportunity. This is you going in and doing that presentation. This is you taking what action, whatever action is required in order to move this forward. Look at this, we have the judgment. This means that time is of the essence. This means that you are being called to your highest timeline. The time is now. For some of you, this is like a resurrection. For some of you, this is like being aris arising from the dead. Okay? This is an amazing time right now. And there is a, a real sense of seize the moment, carpe diem. So this is not something that you're waiting on. We have the queen, king of pentacles, and the three of wands. Ah! All right, y'all. Y'all know, know the king of pentacles is my favorite king. Well, he's one of my favorite kings. He's my favorite king because this is a husband energy here. This is that consummate, divine, masculine energy that is loving, that is kind, that is reliable, that is dependable, that is honest, that goes the distance. This is the consummate provider and divine life partner. And take a look at that. 
What do y'all see here? We see the three of wands. This is what is moving towards you. This is something you have been waiting for. It has been in the distance. It has arrived. Take a look at this. And it's going to move quick. Knight of Swords, the Judgment card, lets you know this is going to move fast. Now, for some of you, this, is a, this could be a promotion. This could be a financial opportunity. This could be something coming in that's going to take you or take uh, whatever it is you're involved with work-wise, career-wise to the next level. But it's something you are already familiar with because it's coming in. It's something you manifested. Two of Wands, we plan, we organize. We're manifesting something. We sent out a vibration. We sent out a frequency. And that thing is moving towards us. What is moving towards us here or what is already in your vortex, what is already in your space, what is already downloading in your reality here is this beautiful King of Pentacles coming in to bring the stability. And what is at the bottom of the deck? The Ace of Wands here, everyone. This is a new beginning, a divine spark. We're talking about passion. Y'all know the Ace of Wands is about passion, fire desire it's a new beginning this is hot energy here and this is a blessing you see how that wine is is coming out from the sky as if it is a divine it is divine it is a divine blessing wow okay and see look with this creative endeavor here with the family friends and guys this could be we talk about family friends and guys y'all we talk about people we resonate with People that are part of our soul tribe, our soul family, part of our oversoul. These people come into your energy space and they bring with them a soul essence or some type of elixir that is a natural part of who they are that feels familiar. It feels at home. I feel like this is fresh. It's fresh. It's almost like uh, it's a it's a it's a it's a fertile landscape. You take a look at this empty uh, portrait here, or this 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 I don't know this easel. Nothing is on it, but it feels inspiring. It feels fresh. It feels new. It feels like music. It feels like music to your ears. This is soul kinship here and I can't help I'm, I'm getting ready to close this reading out and these two cards fall out it's the knight of pentacles and it's the um, nine of wands and you know this is kind of like trying to slow something down because you have emotional wounds or you're feeling guarded in some particular way so perhaps you are moving slowly toward this or you're not sure because you have some level of distrust Around this here with the uh, seven of seven of seven of swords and the page of swords, this is going to bring increase to you. This could be a raise on your job. We have the six of pentacles here, which is something that you have deserved. This is this speaks to the law of giving and receiving. You have paid it forward. You have put something out that is now coming back to you. This is going to bring increase. It's going to bring rewards. It's going to bring blessing. It's going to move very quickly. And this is, in fact, a part of your soul's calling. You're with Tunisia Ali here of Butterfly Transformations, helping you to gain clarity, up-level your mindset, clear and heal, energetic blockages, baby, so that you can manifest the glory of God, the glory that is you. Don't forget those beautiful purple hearts. Put them in the comment section and let me know that you are traveling the frequency. Show your love, show your love, show your love. I love you guys. I love you, I love you. And I appreciate you. This is a beautiful message here. Please move with the current. Do not resist the way the river is flowing. Move with the current. This is a very strong reading for whoever resonates with it. Whatever the choice is, this is a go. And I will see you until next time. Until next time. Purchase your copy of Manifesting Your Masterpiece on Amazon.com today for premium, natural, and organic hair and skin care products along with our line of traditional Somali Unsi and Bahur.
visit us on the IamMelaninMagic.com website. I am Melanin Magic, and so are you.